Our extraordinary journey has taken us through a century and a half of history. From small roots, we have grown and evolved to achieve sector-leading positions globally. For us, nation always comes first, and our legacy is intertwined with India's history. We have been part of the freedom struggle. Our founding father, Sri G. D. Birla, the great architect of India's industrial growth, played a big role in enabling India to rise as an economic superpower. Ten days after India gained independence, Sri G. D. Birla set up a visco staple fiber manufacturing unit to aid a nation struggling with the shortage of cotton. That unit is now one of the many businesses of our flagship company, Grasim. Grasim has grown into a manufacturing powerhouse and a role model for India's industrial journey. Under Chairman Kumar Manglam Birla, we have stepped out boldly and strategically to grow our businesses in size, scale and spread and to take our rightful place in the Global League. From chemicals, to cement, from finance, to fashion, from carbon black, to commodity trading, from telecom services, to renewable energy for a greener, more sustainable world. From our humble roots in India, we have grown into a global exemplar for resilient and responsible business. Powered by the passion of people across continents, we aspire to new shared futures, to new opportunities, to touch and enrich lives, and to deliver on your trust that allows us to be big in your life. Hello everybody. Thank you for joining us today for our yearly FLP Leadership Talk, where we get a chance to interact with our young uh, finance leaders. Today, we're joined by Finance Business Controller of Grassim Industries Pains Division, Krishna Rati, and Niharika Jain, who is the Marketing Strategy Head for the Specialty Alumna Business of Hindalco. Krishna Rati is an uh, All India 34th Chartered Accountant Rank Holder from the November 2012 batch. He has also cleared his company secretary exam and all three levels of the CFA examination. He has a varied experience across the group, including in the Hindalco Renukut plant, the Business Review Council of ABMCPL, the CFI sector and the Grassine Pains division, with a mix of experience across operations, strategy and finance roles. He has been nominated twice in the Chairman's Individual Award under Emerging Professional category and he has been awarded with the Chairman Individual Award under Distinguished Achievers category. He has also been awarded with the Pride Award in the CFI sector and the Sparkle Individual Excellence Award. We also have with us today Niharika Jain, who has joined the group as part of the FLP program in October 2017. During her first year, she had three varied stints across Bits Pilani, Novellus in the USA and Grassim CFD. After that, she joined the Business Review Council, where she worked for three and a half years. 
under the leadership of industry stalwarts like Mr. Bhattacharya and Mr. K.K. Maheshwari. After this, she has now current, she's currently now working with the, working as the lead marketing strategy and customer centricity for the specialty uh, alumina business of Hindalco. Apart from work, she is also associated with an NGO called the Lighthouse Project through which she's mentoring uh, a young girl for the past six years. So uh, let's get into it. The first question that we have for you is that when you joined the finance leadership program, what was the core motivational reason and how has it contributed to your career development and growth? You know, the market leadership, the prominence of ABG in multiple, you know, businesses uh, that we have in cement, in, you know, metals, uh, chemicals, uh, apparels. So from that, you know, uh, you know, that was one aspect. The other aspect was the brand value, the trust, which, you know, the group as a whole, the builder group, the other builder group, you know, has in the, in the, in the market. Um, it's a long-term relationship that you maintain uh, when you, you know, it's kind of a marriage that you do with the, with the organization. The third aspect, uh, you know, which I came later, which, you know, I realized later after joining was the, you know, the values system which are there in the group, you know, the, the integrity, commitment, passion, seamlessness, speed are not just words in the website that, that are published, but it is actually, you know, the, the principles that are ingrained in the, in the businesses that we do. And, you know, that resonates, you know, with a lot of us who work, you know, in the group and, you know, that helps. Now, FLP as a program overall, you know, within Aditya Builder Group also is an, you know, is a, is a further enabler of utilizing the opportunities that are there in the group. Um, you know, the multiple, you know, the exposure across businesses and functions that we can get, uh, you know, so YTM as a whole, young talent, you know, management who takes care of the FLP program, takes care of, you know, the individuals that join, that they get buried exposure there. Uh, so that is an advantage that, you know, as an, as an, as this program has provided me. So this is the first part, you know, of the, of the question that was there. The second part in, you know, is everything, you know, that I'm there today, because I started my journey here in ABG as an FLP. And today I'm, you know, whatever position I'm there is because of the experience that I got in the FLP program, the various, uh, you know, the jobs, the, the roles that I, you know, from the year one, I started uh, to now. So there was, you know, first four, four uh, stints that were there in the year one helped me to get, you know, varied exposure across businesses in a smaller stint. In year two, I moved to an operational role in Hindalco Renukut, which helped me understand not just the operations of the, you know, the core operations that happens in the in the plant, but also the behavioral aspect that that goes into the you know the whole asp, you know whole you know plant life that we have, uh, that has helped me you know in moving across you know in when I moved to BRC that helped me a lot in understanding the other businesses also from the operations aspect as well as the cultural uh, benefit. Same at the same time you know understanding the processes which were there um, uh, in the, in those businesses in in Hindalco has helped me even establish businesses in you know processes in uh, paints business so to that extent everything accumulated and you know helped me to you know reach and you know to gain the overall holistic understanding that i have today is because of the multiple experiences and exposure that i got in the slp program neharika can you tell us about what motivated you to join the program and how the experience was Sure. Actually, Meera, Krishna, both of you would know when we uh, when we clear as a cohort, we actually have those twinkles in our eyes, you know, we're right. wondering what is our next uh, step going to be. And we're so excited and uh, also a little bit confused about the kind of function we want to be in. What business do we want to do? Do we want to take a tax audit kind of a path or do we want to really explore the industry? What is the industry, especially for those who have not done industrial training? So uh, I was the same and uh, but then I heard so much so I'd spoken to senior FLPs here and I heard you know what Krishna said the multiple stints and the exposure you get to various businesses before you kind of get into your next role that also really teaches you because you're so new to the system that is a big boost. And of course, there was so much spoken about the you know positivity here the warmth that as a group we stand for and the keenness taken to really develop people which now you know in my journey now I can jolly well say that yes you know that 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 whole effort is really put into and um, you know 
as far as my experience is concerned i can really i'm i'm really happy and grateful to say that i'm uh, this decision worked out so well for me as a person i can see this 180 degree overhaul you know when i came in i was so raw and uh, you know with every passing day people have taught me more have pushed me to you know test my boundaries and be a better version of myself and even through my uh, you know the stints or the you know roles that i have taken uh, varied you know in terms of whether that is business it was from uh, fiber to fertilizers mining education and to now alumina a uh, geography i mean i had the opportunity to go to us for a stint i had i visited china for work uh, and even functions you know corporate function and now i'm in the sales and marketing team and of course the teams the different people you work with they just enhance you as a professional so all in all yes very fulfilling going into the specifics since you both spoke about how each of the stints added so much value can you think of any specific projects or specific uh, roles that you had in one of your stints which so- sort of was a game changer or really sort of shaped your career uh, only because i'm so excited to really answer this question in terms of um, i'll i'll actually take some specific examples and um you know probably now that i'm thinking of it in a twofold manner so first is on the people and uh, you know like i touched upon it in my earlier response i'll get into a few specific uh, people and specific examples here and coincidentally the first one is about the person reta- sitting right in front of me uh, so <laughs> uh, krishna and i both worked together in my first role and uh, it was he was quite senior into the system mm-hmm. since then and uh, I don't know if you remember we were working one day uh, on this uh, working capital analysis for one of our businesses and I remember getting out of it and just thinking to myself wow I learned so much and you know in terms of just the way he deconstructed the data or uh, you know how he put everything from an outside in perspective in such a clear cohesive manner and uh, similarly actually my our our boss in in that role Manish uh it was just brilliant working with him in terms of the way he could glean the most business specific uh, sorry business sensitive topics and business critical aspects just from like it's actually finding a needle from a haystack right and that's what actually our role was to mm-hmm. help performance uh, you know improvement and to uh, you know take the most critical points up to the management for further action and actually you know his advice which act- at the outset seems very simple but has guided so many of my decisions till now that you know nharka just do the right thing and that really helps in every decision that i make it's actually very simple you know um coming to my current role so before that i you know the second part to my answer was that there is no there are no holes there is no limitation to this program um i mean if you have the intent and the and the potential um sky is really the limit i um and i say this because i have the opportunity and i'm really grateful to be working in the uh, sales and marketing division of the hindalco specialty alumina business again here um i mean my immediate uh, reporting manager i'm working with one of the most seasoned players in the industry um the way he looks at you know pricing budgeting and the way you know what we tell everyone with us that you know look at the business like it's your own yeah. that entrepreneurial spirit i see in him and i i have the opportunity to learn that from him uh so yes it's it's been again very gratifying i must say very interesting and varied experience that you've spoken to us about since you told us about this experience of working with krishna i'm sort of curious about understanding krishna's point of view Where you have had an experience i know personally from my batch as well you've mentored a lot of flps so how is that for you when you're mentoring flps what are the expectations that you have when your um when when an flp is reporting to you for a stint what what are the uh, briefs that need to be met when they are working in your team what you know differentiates few people from others is that you know the application of that knowledge mm-hmm. that functional knowledge that they can apply in the work i think that you know that ability to develop you know is what we look at uh behaviorally what we look at is uh, is you know a eagerness to learn uh, um a problem sol- solving mindset that they have uh, a proactiveness in in terms of you know anticipating you know any challenges and you know preemptively 
working towards the solution. Um, I think, you know, these, you know, I have, I have seen multiple FLPs and, you know, somehow we have been able to, you know, you know, crack that code in recruiting people. But, you know, that, that aspect I see in multiple FLPs that, that come in the, in, in the way. And, you know, the ownership aspect, when they, when they come up, they are given a problem, you know, they, are, they look at that into, you know, from various aspects and try to solve it, you know, uh, to the extent, you know, that they can. So, you know, delivering results finally. So to that extent, I think that is what we look at, uh, you know, and the expectation is uh, when the when the FLP, uh, you know, comes to any of the any of the projects. Understood. Since you had mentioned about um, application of the knowledge that we have into the scenarios that we're facing in our stint, this is a question probably for both of you. Did you have a situation where you could take the um, the theoretical knowledge that we had learned during our CA? and apply it into real life situations during the courses of your stint or maybe your current roles as well okay so i think you know at least the the role which i am doing you know are a few of the roles requires direct knowledge of chartered accountancy and that are those are you know like like taxation like accounts you know mis fp and everywhere you know all the knowledge of chartered accountancy in any case is required now there are roles which you know or let's say costing for that matter but then there are roles which, you know, require started accountancy knowledge and you should be able to apply them. For example, you know, uh, one project I remember was a regression analysis of a raw material with FG and the whole decision of going for that project or not dependent upon that, you know. So those kind of projects are also there. There are, you know, departments in Indalco, uh, you know, from whom I keep learning on the risk management aspect, you know, from the counterparts. So those kind of, uh, you know, knowledge is there, uh, knowledge sharing is there. I think another satisfying, you know, you know, application of knowledge of financial management is into the business modeling and the capex modeling that we do. So, you know, the benefits, IRR, you know, NPV, uh, whether the cash flows are, you know, projections are giving a right decision or, you know, decision to go ahead with the project or not. I think that is an important one. But the most critical one or, you know, the one which you know, applies to every operations is probably the marginal costing. Any commercial decision that we do is, I feel, you know, I keep in mind, you know, whether we are applying the, you know, the application of marginal costing in that manner, in the incremental, you know, any decision that we are doing is, you know, not basis the, you know, the decision already made, but the incremental gas inflow outflow that we do. So I think those kind of, everywhere, you know, the application of chartered accountancy is required and is being applied. Right. Niharika, you want to add? Absolutely. So the, you know, the whole uh, principle of, you know, decision making backed by numbers, which somewhere or the other is a part of the curriculum, is an underlying part of the curriculum, is applied in most of the decisions. So whether that is opportunity cost, whether that is, you know, should you extend your payment terms to your, uh, you know, debtors, financial modeling, like Krishna said, widespread application of it, irrespective of the business you are in, there is some kind of modeling that, you know, you're using everywhere because that is, you know, the bedrock of these decisions. And then, of course, there are more specific things like, you know, your RPT clauses. And when I was doing my stint, you know, one of the things that was really required was your NDS knowledge because we had to really frame policies and working papers. So, you know, the in-depth analysis of that time, the lease standard was had just come in. So that really requires that understanding, right, what classifies as a financial lease, etc. So that's where uh, this knowledge really comes in handy. Got it. Clear. Um, Krishna, you had mentioned about your plant stint at Renukut, right? So can you throw a little bit of uh, light to the new FLPs who will be joining in about uh, how they can expect that 12-month mandatory plant stint to be and how uh, it will help their career um, to work with the financing of a manufacturing plant? So I think ABG as a, you know, as an organization, as a conglomerate is very strong in manufacturing. Um, it has established processes, you know, and systems there. Uh, and it's a great opportunity to learn those within, you know, a short span of time and get that, you know, the, the, the processes and systems that were developed around, you know, let's say, a period of 50 years. You know, you get that understanding in one year's time. Uh, so that is one, you know, great learning that happens. Um, uh, the other understanding of the, you know, various processes, manufacturing processes um, and the operations like logistics, stores, uh, you know, uh, uh, material management, uh, 
apart from the you know core manufacturing like let's say manufacturing power plant process mining etc those kind of experience if you go to a plant uh, you know those understanding you know at the at right out the at the foundation will certainly have help at least has helped me in the you know in the in the process in the roles that i did at a later stage so that is an advantage um, um i think the culture aspect also and when you are you know if you are at a head office of a manufacturing manufacturing setup you need to understand the you know the base or the or the you know the how the things runs at a, at a plant so that advantage is something you know you get um i think there is one apprehension within you know the the new uh, recruits that happens is that you know once you go to the plant will you know will i be you know kind of invis invisible um, will i be called back or not i think that i think is you know i can assure on behalf of ytm that you know ytm takes care of that uh, you know you are called back and i'm you know i'm one of the examples of of uh, you know of this process uh, ytm take care takes care of the you know flps not just in year 1 but you know uh, but for a longer period uh, for the for for the roles that you know uh, uh, flp would like to have in the later part of the career got it you know i hug i agree wholeheartedly with that uh, point you mentioned about the culture i've gone on a few plant visits and i could sort of see very clearly the sort of um the rapo and the understanding and camaraderie that the uh, everyone who are working in the plant of completely different age groups but they're all such a tight bound yeah. <laughs> knit group together the sort of bonding that you would never get in a Uh, sort of a corporate office. So I, I keep going back to Renukut because of the other reason that you know right. I'm married to my my wife. Home place is also Renukut. Oh okay. Uh, I recently you know was there in Renukut and I make it a point that we I visit you know and meet people who are maybe you know double the age of me <laughs> <laughs> at times, yeah. but they are friends of mine. Exactly. So my point. so yeah. to that extent you know and you love that place. Whenever I you know plan to go to you know uh, Renukut. you know i have that you know happiness in my yeah. you know mind you know so you know, energy is another level so you, you know remember we have another uh, flp candidate who's recently just gone to the plant and she's come out so much stronger after a year of doing a role there and she's now doing very well she's in with us in hindalco so i think the core aspects of you know for a chartered accountant the core aspects of costing ms yeah. fp and a these should you know this this the whole you know sets up the 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 plant rule kind of sets up the foundation for that i think yeah. that is the, the confidence you get after that once you uh, got in a hold of that you can the confidence you can have even with speaking to senior leaders about concepts and about the applicability of it is just the whole so, other level so when i was in brc we were reviewing multiple businesses yeah. i had the experience of plant and multiple businesses were of the manufacturing uh, you know set up no but uh, you know it was not just metals you know yeah. uh, even in billa white or you know in a cement business or a, or a you know fiber business or a you know so there also you know lot of applications of those understanding which happened in the in the first two years in my plant stint helped me in you know understanding the and analyzing the you know the 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 updates in the in the other businesses of the group yeah. so moving on um My next question is a little bit more sort of going back to how we were when, at the time when we had cleared our exams and sort of confused about where we want to go, right? And then at that time, after finishing our articleship, the natural progression would be to get into something like, like um, audit or financial due diligence or tax consulting or something along those lines, which is more real, very very much related to the core subject that we had studied. So, what? distinguishes the flp program from that from those kind of roles and uh, why should some why why would you encourage somebody to come towards a role like this so i i did my article ship at one of the big four and uh, just when i was uh, you know preparing to leave or you considering that i that you know probably i should explore the industry uh, you know right now because right now is the right time to do it uh, i was told that you know industry is a 9 to 5 job it's very slow paced and uh, probably you know your learning won't be as much as it's here and uh, <laughs> i would just like to say <laughs> that uh, it's been the exact opposite for me mm. if if nothing else you know i've had uh, all of my roles till now there are you know for example in my earlier role there were like 
time sensitive capital expansion projects where you know you had to turn around your deliverables in a certain time period and then because there were decisions taken at a top level based on those recommendations even today um, you know whether there is again there are there are, there's you know time sensitive projects going on whether that is operational decisions you need to make to meet, meet customer commitments or you know a timed pricing decision that needs to be made all of these require that agility require that excitement require you to want to learn to make a difference to contribute so yes actually it's quite uh, an action packed uh, program and it's also you know the focus that the group puts on this program the investment made by you know senior leaders to ensure that uh, flps are groomed into the next generation of leaders uh, i think you know in hindsight it's it's a lot of hustle it's a lot of uh, you know challenging projects but it's all worth it yeah you've clearly that sort of puts to rest the myth that industry roles are slow paced yeah. slow paced and <laughs> Uh, you know all the other aspects are allied you know and you know industry is the core you know everybody is working towards you know helping the industry to move forward right. so you know this is the first time experience that one should you know experience yeah so that is right and i guess you sort of get the generalist aspect also when you come into this right because when you go into auditing or tax consulting you're sort of becoming uh, very specific in your in in terms of your growth but here you can decide which way you you want to take your career and then pursue it along that way i think that sort of experience also come to to me it looks like you know it is an individual choice from from Absolutely. you know a specialization versus versus a you know right. a generalized you know role i have seen people you know exceedingly doing well in 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 taxes and uh, yeah, yeah. as a right. as an specialist right that you can do in industry also for that matter right, right. right. but at the same time you know uh, you it is up on a person to yeah, choose yeah so it's a personal choice of course i right. agree with you uh, 100% what you're saying if someone is 100% clear that they want to do a specific thing then they would still find a place for them in corporate but at the same time right. even if they are not clear where they want to go ahead and they want to sort of experience a lot of things and figure out right. where they want to go that would still be a good place for them to um sort of um, so my yeah. experience was auditing uh, doing articles and i used to see industry from the you know the the lenses of the auditors and never got a chance till then to you know work directly and that excited me that you know let's do it directly what whatever we are serving you know to the industry let's do it you know and see it first hand yeah and you know the kind of you know exposure that an flp gets because of the you know the the high intensity projects we can say or the or the you know the larger ownership that that they themselves take i think uh, to that extent uh, you know to that extent the the whole exposure or the learnings aspect uh, is is kind of tremendous um so krishna this is a follow up question to your response how has this program equipped you to tackle challenges and complexities that are inherent in the finance inherent in the finance industry so i think you know i i partly answered in 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 the previous answer right you know the whole journey of my flp program i see you know things move just you know right you know at right time i made the right movements is what i feel i, I have a mix of operational experience in indalco a, a strategic experience in in brc role where you know you were supporting the business leaders and you know helping them in in strategic uh, decision making uh, i have a team handling role in you know i had a learning of team handling and fp and d in in one of the chemicals uh, role that i had and then i moved on to a you know paints business which has a startup kind of environment and the related challenges so i think all the challenges that you know i got in these these you know in all these roles help help me to you know to be who i am today and you know that that learnings and experience across you know these uh, stints has helped me uh, to be a professional to you know to take up the challenges uh, work with a team you know to to you know kind of deliver within those obstacles and challenges that we have yeah you know there has been a lot of cross functional um experiences and skill development i think for both of you i think even for you niharika you've completely gone the unconventional route and gone towards a sales and marketing strategy which is completely different from core finance so how did you take that decision to um, move towards that and how has your experience been so far um so actually it came from uh, as part of my previous role 
so when we were really looking at the business and we were not restricted to only the financial aspects of the business we really had to look at the industry aspect the macros linkage of uh, sales and when i looked at all of that i just uh, i was really keen to learn more and uh, and and i just thought that because you know uh you know the group has been so kind to me and there is so much opportunity i wouldn't probably be able to do this anywhere else like here senior leaders have been kind enough to take a bet on me uh because this is something where even i am learning i can't come and day one value add i'm learning and then you know there's a learning curve involved and then i can start adding value so i mean tremendous tremendous uh, learning in from this role and obviously from the previous roles as well in terms of whether that's pricing and nego negotiation strategies working on some strategic growth projects as in you know how sometimes it's really difficult right when you're just sitting there in the position trying to make a decision yeah. uh, of course my ceo is making the decision but you know uh, being there and kind of being a part of the core team that really works on the whether that is the modeling or whether that's really talking to uh, you know whoever the third party is customers or whoever it is and and you know making that decision um, it's brilliant it's 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 brilliant knowledge and you know data driven decision making and here i have the opportunity to you know have a uh, uh, team development so even it, it's it doesn't come naturally right to people so you that also the, that investment has been made on you to kind of go ahead and handle a team um you know looking at the big picture the attention to detail that you know is imbibed into you that's that those are all my key takeaways yeah. have you ever felt like the lack of an mba would hinder this transition for a chartered accountant for precisely the same reason i don't think so no, so no i mean the opportunities are so many there there i mean really like when i said the sky is the limit it is really the sky is the limit you can chart your own career path and ytm is here to support you all through it and it's really your careers in your hands and you have mentorship programs here as well to kind of help you guide you make the right choice got it this is clear um so i think if you If you just had to look back on on the experience that you've had in the group so far, what would you say is the most rewarding aspect of your experience that you've had? Um, so apart from the you know the professional you know the learnings that right. that were there you know across various states that I had, I think one uh, rewarding and a fulfilling uh, aspect and a gratifying aspect is you know a lot of friends that I made in the journey and. Uh, a lot of mentors for life that that i made in the journey i think that is something uh, you know this uh, maybe in, in any different kind of program i whether i would have got this kind of you know mentors and friends i'm not too sure so i'm very happy from you know that angle it's just the opportunity and the learnings that i've had if i had to pick one it would be the uh, you know the the learnings that i've had when i worked with like mr bhattacharya and mr kk i'm such such senior people in the industry and i mean you i mean we feel bad when we look at them that just how much they can put in like never stop being a learner we need to learn that from them the sheer discipline uh you know the art of cutting data in so many different ways that it speaks to you uh i mean all of that has actually whatever i am today that all has you know helped me somewhere or the other in being who i am today even with my you know current ceo of my business saurabh just the drive he has the art of questioning status quo I mean the energy he brings to office really drives us to you know put in our best. I'm 100% in, in alignment with you on this the amount of depth that the leaders yes. that we work with get into just oh, yes. just being a fly on the wall in their meetings teaches us so much. so much exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so um so let's finish up the interview then by giving us a uh a suggestion or an advice that you would want to give to the people who are watching this program who are hopefully going to be joining us soon <laughs> so uh you know i'll i'll congratulate them you know for for succeeding with the with the one of the toughest exam that we have in india um and for the interviews i think the suggestion is simple that you know be yourself uh, be hungry to learn um 
and be you know eager uh, and be ready for the challenges that that you know may come up uh, once you get recruited i mean i would tell them to you know continue to be curious um, be resilient network a lot because you'll get a lot of opportunity to do it and you can extract so much value out of that and don't ever stop looking at the bigger picture whenever you know you're given an assignment start with what is the objective of doing that and everything else will just flow through and know that you know you're a valued resource all your contributions are acknowledged are appreciated and in the process you know you are going to benefit by learning so much so meena enough of you putting us in the hot seat before we end let's just get your take i mean we're relatively old in the system <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately so do you have uh, you know something that you want to tell our uh, you know leaders future leaders coming into our system yeah i think it's important to keep an open mind um with respect to the work that you're doing because sometimes you're doing work which uh, might seem very important and sometimes it may not seem very important or because of our our view is so small we may not understand the value that we're adding by the work that we're doing but it's just important to keep that that integrity and that commitment and to keep working on what you're working on keep your head down keep your chin down and keep working on it even if you don't really know what are going to be the immediate repercussions of the work that you're doing so when i had joined i had my three stints with um um my first stint was with abfrls management assurance team and then my second stint was with group corporate finance and my third stint was with ultratech knowledge service center so across all the three stints i would not uh, i would do uh, some work which i really enjoyed and some work which i was happy doing it but then it was not something that i wanted to be doing but then i kept my chin down and i did the work anyway so i think that really sort of helped me a lot and uh, um so after that i have joined the chairman's office now and i'm working under the executive assistant to the chairman so uh a uh, lot of again lot of uh, interaction with a lot of senior leaders and a lot of opportunity to learn from them from their work ethic as you were rightly mentioning earlier about mr maheshwari and mr hatacharya the similar work ethic that uh, you can see across all the group leaders really the same uh, values that are uh, uh, reciprocated again, uh, um among all the group leaders so the experience has been great for me so yeah i think my only takeaway to the frps is to just keep an open mind yeah so you right actually you know when you uh, the dots will connect you know and yeah. when you were speaking i remembered something that you know one of my colleagues a senior colleagues had told me that uh, your jd is only 50% of your role it's actually right. what you do beyond that which shapes your career growth right so never shy away from taking those additional projects or some additional right. responsibility exactly. yeah Okay with that we come to the conclusion of a very interesting conversation i found it personally very interesting thank you so much niharika and uh, krishna for those of you who are watching um if you have any follow up queries any further queries you need any more help understanding anything you can of course uh, put down your queries in the common whatsapp group that we have and the senior alumni uh, senior flps will uh, help uh, in responding to your questions the registration link for submitting your application is now live on the instagram bio under the official avglp page the youtube description under this video and the common whatsapp group as well thank you very much Thank you.